All right, so like, there is this small like narrative going around. Like, one for people who watch my videos, I'm from North Carolina. Like, I was raised in North Carolina most of my life, all of my life. Middle school, high school, elementary, all that. I'm from California originally. From California, I was born there. Stayed there for a little minute. I got little bits and pieces that I remember about California. But I'm my family raised me in Charlotte. That's where my family was at. My uncle, my aunt, my older cousins, my grandparents. And then I got grandparents from other parts. But... The videos, when I shoot these videos explaining them, like about the people I grew up around, these people is who I grew up around. My parents didn't know these people. My dad know a few because I brought them to the house. But for the most part, I was a quiet kid. This quiet kid who stayed in the basketball gym, stayed in the basketball gym. I had friends around me that I knew that would take part in other, you know, activities outside of that. And, you know, like I said, because I was a quiet kid, I was the red boy with the green eyes. You know, I got the nice color eyes. I'm very quiet. Dudes try to, you know, they try to tempt you. They try to push you. They try to take advantage of you. And those things, like sometimes those things would happen growing up. Like, I get into fights, got bullied, got beat up. Sometimes I won. A lot of times I got jumped. That's the, that's the, that's the thing. That's okay. But I'm not out here, don't get it wrong, I'm not out here portraying an image that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I'm not, I never picked up any guns, never sold any drugs, anything like that. I just grew up in the environment and I seen what happened to people around me, friends, my dad, my brother. I was like, it ain't for me. I don't want to go down that path. I don't want to go down that path. So this is like a little short video to, you know, I talk about the things that I seen growing up in our neighborhoods and our communities. And we didn't stay in the bad neighborhood like that. Towards the end, like once I got a little older, my mom and dad did what they had to do to get us to a better environment. And they did. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. So, you know, everything is good. I just, you know, for me, growing up, certain experiences, traumatic experiences, you experience those things at a young age you don't forget it like some things happen in life where you just don't forget it so with me it was just i really just stayed in the gym playing basketball there was little pockets growing up where i would catch myself being around the wrong groups of people but a lot of times and it's the thing about my dad my dad always knew where i was at like Hey, son, come get me. Come grab me. Son, where you at? And he'll come grab me. He'll pull up on different houses. Like, I remember it vividly in my head. Different homes where I was with different girls hanging out, chilling with them and things like that. My dad, he you know, he'll pull up and be like, bro, come on, it's time to go. He kept me on this path, and it worked. It worked. So far, things are working. Things are getting better. And it worked. Like, my dad did what he was supposed to do. My dad did what he had to do. So, and it's crazy because a lot of those people growing up, I seen it. I, I'm paying attention to what's happening, what's going on out there. I'm just like, you know, certain narratives I'm not a part of. Certain narratives I don't want to be a part of. And it's like, for me, growing up, I was around so many different groups that, like, let me take it back to when I got getting into fights, losing fights, getting jumped, things like that. That type of stuff didn't affect me. It was the people around me to where I caused, where it would cause me to be in trouble. So you can be around the wrong group of people. And what happens is when the outcome isn't what everyone expect, they want you to go do something different. Like, I remember uh, getting jumped. And at the time, the person that I was cool with, he was just like, bro, you want to do this and this and that, but you don't want to go back and go get at these guys. I'm like, 
I'm like, man, look, that stuff happens, which is true. It, it happens. It happens. And, you know, a lot of times they'd be like, bro, Kev, you acting like this, you acting like that. You won't go. And it was just a lot, yo. It was just a lot. Because even my dad used to know sometimes try to see what I do. But I don't know. That's just not me. I'm not like a, a back and forth person. I just remove myself from the situation completely. Which is why I feel like I don't owe nobody any explanations. Oh, you did me this way? I'm not going to say anything to you. Just fall away. And disappear. I've done a lot of friends like that. A lot of family members like that. Girls I used to be cool with. Guys I used to be cool with. I don't got to give you no explanation. Just fall away. And to this point I'm in with my life now, I just really... I don't want to be around a lot of people. I don't want to have a lot of friends. I just want to stay where I'm at and keep it that way. I don't want nothing else. Just minding my business. And I like it this way. I stay focused when I'm at work. Don't get involved with anything. Stay focused when I'm at the house. Don't get involved with anything. When I go out to these clubs, bars, anything like that, when we go out of town and go to Wichita, uh, any other places, I don't get involved with nothing. I stay focused on me. And a lot of times you stay focused on yourself. You're going to have people who try to pull you back into what they got going on or try to talk about people around you. It'll throw you off track. I don't be focused on nothing but what Kev want to do. I'm focused on what I want to do. So, that's my thing. I don't be wanting to prove no points to nobody. You know, and there's a couple other things that, you know, happened growing up. I had no place being in certain neighborhoods. I had no business being in certain like cars with people. And most of this stuff came in college when I started trying to make myself an identity. And the thing is, I went to a school way away from home. So I understood like, yo, you here now, how you are portrayed from day one. It's gonna be how everybody perceives you or portrays you. But you can make a change. The first day I got to school, First day I got to school, I got into it with somebody, man. I get it. I got this type of vibe where, you know, I come off as cocky or I don't, nah, I don't care. I'm glad to be that. Because I know what I made it out of. I know what darkness I made it out of, you know. So, of course, I'm going to be cocky because I made it up out of that. And even in that darkness, I thought that I was who I was. Even in that darkness, I thought I was, you know, so I don't really trip on stuff too much, but uh, never been a street individual. I just a kid who grew up in the hood. Never been a part of any of that type of stuff. Never sold any, you know, never did anything like that. That's not me. That's not who I am. I'm never, never gonna, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, I don't do anything to get even with people. Because where I'm at right now is how I get even with people. And it's crazy. Everybody who done me wrong in my life, I see them again later on down the road. But when you see me again, it's always... Kev, is that you? Yeah, yeah I done, done bossed up. And the thing is, they know not to come and ask for no help. They know not to come and ask for anything because it's like... You had the opportunity to, to treat me the right way. This is why I say I don't get into talking about people. And I try to treat everyone with respect. I try to treat everybody the way that they should be treated. I take the time out to listen to people's conversation. Like, just all respect, yo. Like, yo. I don't gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, just treat everybody with respect. And that's just the way it go. And it works. It's been working. It will continue to work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
Little girl see me from back in high school, back in college. I don't got nothing to say to you. Because there was a time when I was trying to say something to you. I knew, like, me being homeless, me being broke, there was nobody around me. There was nobody around. So I know when I get to a certain level, I know what it is. It's just play the game. That's all you got to do is just play the game. Man. That's all I be doing, just playing the game. That's all you got to do is play the game. I see it for what it is. I know it for what it is. I just know how to play the game of life. So I ain't tripping too much on anything. I don't stress about anything. I don't need to. You can't control everything. You only can control how you react. So. the way it go and like I said before in all my other videos it's only a matter of time it's only a matter of time before I start I mean I've already been starting to achieve things and get things accomplished but it's like I'm leaving it's gonna happen it's gonna happen but I know where I was when I ain't have nothing. I know where I'm going to be when I do get it. Just staying focused, staying positive. This stuff will change. That's about it.